your uncle is Freeway, Freeway Rick. Rick Ross. Yes. Um, I, heard, I thought we was going to have a situation. They said Rick Ross was coming to the day today. I'm like, oh, shit, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. <laughs> well, well, I know. You've been very animate about your feelings towards the huh, other... I got a problem with my heart. Huh. <laughs> but um, I'm not even going to take it that way. But I heard there's, there's a... This movie coming out with your with your uncle. Actually. Yes, okay. I'm in that movie too, man. We getting this movie money too, man. Wait, what's going on with that? How is he? How, I, I know he's trying to get, I guess, back involved with the industry and everything like that. And how is he gonna be working with you? Um, well, he's work. He works. He's more of like my mentor. He gives me like I, when you when you gotta understand, this nigga made a million dollars a week in the street, like most rappers don't make that. But then when you take this part of a man's life and you willing to publicize all the negative shit that he's done, I feel like you owe him something. Because you don't know Pablo, you don't know Noriega, and they don't owe you a fucking favor. <laughs> I, I'm, just be, I'm just being honest. Like, and, 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 and I make my music in an honest lane. So when you feel like I said some shit that I'm not really... Standing behind 100%, you should address me on it. But it's going to be hard for you to pick up war music and find that. Because I'm not telling you about somebody else's life. It's, it's crazy that a person could talk about selling drugs and then a picture of you being a correctional officer pops up. Like, where they do that at? I watched my, I watched my uncle sit in prison behind the same shit that you glorify. And that's the shit that I'm talking about. These are the things that I, I'm really talking about. Like I don't, I'm not, I don't feel that. Mm -hmm. And any, I'm not gonna change my name. My name is Slim the Mob, so I'm not gonna change it. But if I change my name, then you know something had to provoke that. So for a nigga to call himself Ricky Rose now, that's like a gay stripper name to me. I'm just keeping it 100, cuz honestly, now, that sounds like a gay stripper personally. So how can you go from Rick Ross to F Ricky Rose? That that shows that you know that you weren't being 100. So if you so if you guys come face to face. Oh, I ain't dodging nothing. I fight hard. I'm not scared of size, man. I've been to prison. You know what I'm so saying? Where no, you walk along. No talking this out. There's now, it, it's definitely thing. I am a again, I'm a businessman. We could talk about anything. Mm -hmm. But like I'm just I'm just giving you how I feel about yeah, it. Absolutely. And and as a businessman, we could talk about anything, but like I think they already tried to talk about it, and do feel like it's like like I, I don't owe no nigga nothing, but you really do. Yeah. And I'm not a correctional officer. Like that's totally disrespectful for a nigga to sit in prison for 20 years and have a nigga that's supposedly a police use his name. Yeah, that's 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 tough. Come on, man. And 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 the coldest part is the niggas not willing to acknowledge or even say, look, man, you have contributed to my success. And the name alone. Because he wasn't... Now, if he was Rick Ross and he was talking about dancing and shit, that would be different. But he's talking about selling dope. Mm -hmm. Come on. If he came out with a heavy D image when he came out and and uh, I'm the overweight lover, all those things would have been cool. But you coming out in a lane and you saying, uh, uh, I sell this and I got birds and all. Like, okay, where did that come from? Where Where are you getting these notions and the things? Like... How can I talk my name be Slim the Mobster and I rap about sweet shit? Yeah, well, that, that wouldn't match up. So how can you name yourself Rick Ross and talk about dope when, like, that? It, it, you, 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 you devaluing a person's name? You're looking, you, you want the authenticity and Period. things to be. Not even the authenticity. I want you to give that man something. Because I, not fuck the respect, you owe that man some money. Oh, all right. Well, That's how I feel. Okay. Because everything that you're talking about is really his life. It's, and I'm not saying that he's a fake nigga, but, like, in the lure of me, like, I automatically, like I said, where I come from, we respect the older dudes. And we live off that. Like, my, I got old niggas from my hood that I know is a fucking crackhead. But if you fuck with them, my homie's gonna hurt you. And so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's truly about just retribution, being real, and keeping... That's all it's the, about. That's, and that's your... That's basically just what you're standing and, and on. Because I've known this man my whole life. Absolutely. So when I when I see dudes like gaining fame off of his name, like I take that personal.